Hi, you guys, it's Amy Gretchen. Welcome back to another Project Life Process video. In this video, I'm working on week 51 from 2016. I actually am officially done with all of my 2016 Project Life, but I've got a backlog of editing, so you will definitely see all of those coming up shortly. I'm trying to disperse them between my 2017. So I'm using this uh, stamp set that came from Kelly Perky. It's a label stamp set. And you can see that I'm just going to stamp out a whole bunch of them. And I'm, what I'm trying to do is I'm, I want to use a few on my spreads, but I'm also just trying to, you know, stamp out a bunch so I can get out the perfect ones or the best ones that I want to use. So now I'm just going to go ahead and um, cut those out. I noticed that she had some dyes that went along with this set and I was thinking about dyeing it, but I was like, honestly, I don't want to pull out my die cut machine. Um, I have a big shot. So I, it's actually not that big of a deal, but I just for these little labels, I didn't want to have to worry about it. So I just decided that I could cut it down. I think the reason why I was looking at it is because um, you have to kind of cut um, the corner going inward instead of um, at an angle. So it was a little bit more complicated. Like this label right here, you'll see that you can just easily cut it right at an angle. Also, one thing that I wanted to note, I felt like the stamp that when I used that Fiskars um, stamp press, it actually stamped out really awesome the first time. So you can see that I only had to really stamp it once. So I don't know, could have been the stamp, but really I think it has something to do uh, with the pressure that is really so great about that stamp press. So now that I've got some of those labels that um, I can officially use, and I'm just cleaning some of those off. Um, I like to use baby wipes just to do that. I've done like wet um, paper towels as well. I think that those work fine. So now I'm moving on to looking through some of my December daily stash, some of my four by six stash of cards to look for a title. And I'm, I decided to pull out that, um, the green, uh, the green stars. I honestly don't ever remember even seeing those. I don't know which kit they came from. Um, I'm excited to have them. I thought I rarely ever use green and I thought that it would go perfect, um, with that green photo. My husband was in Costa Rica this week. Poor guy. Um, little jealous of that, getting a lot of green during this cold winter. So I'm using some uh, Studio Calico stamps. They have some large stamps and some small stamps. I think this is like a three by four stamp. And the other one they have, I think, is like a six by eight. So the alphabet is significantly um, bigger. I can't remember what the stamp set is called, but I will definitely link it below. I haven't been able to find the small step set on Studio Calico, but I will link to the large ones. I apologize for that. I don't know if they sold out and um, they decided not to reorder or what, but they're like not even on the website. So I'm not sure what happened there. So I just went ahead and used my, um, let's see, it's Unicorn Ink from Hero Arts, that, that white ink. And something that I, and I know this about that white ink, like it does not, it takes a minute to dry. And I kind of just put it right into the sleeve. And so some of that ink kind of smeared and got onto the, um, right onto the sleeve or the page protector. And it, it wasn't that big of a deal. It's actually really easy to wipe off, especially since it's white. But I was looking, um, it kind of smeared the letters a little bit, but it, it wasn't that big of a deal. So I'm just setting it there so it can dry. Um, I also decided to, I have, I did like a map or um, kind of a layout to show me how I wanted to work with my December daily. So it was kind of my way of like making sense of everything as I was, you know, gathering stories that I wanted to tell. I think I shared some of those on Instagram. And so I just decided to actually take the original and just cut it up. I think I had a picture of it at some point. Um, like I said on my Instagram, but I really just wanted to have the original there. So I just decided to cut that up. I think I believe I end up putting a label on that as well. So 
I'm just trying to decide, like, um, I'm pulling over cards and looking through my stash of things that I want to include. And you can see that I'm also grabbing over some of those labels just to see, uh, you know, where I want those to go and, and how I want to fit those. That Let Your Heart Be Light card, I've been trying to literally fit that in all through December daily. I'm glad that I was able to use it. A part of me wanted to leave it till next year, but I was just keep telling myself there'll be another like great stash of supplies that I can gather for next year. So definitely use the stuff that I have. So I was definitely grateful that I had the chance to use that card this week. It definitely was fitting based on some of the journaling and some of the stuff that was going on this week. So I'm glad that um, I was finally able to fit it in. So you can see that I'm just, um, I'm doing a little bit of journaling. I'm writing on that label. That card actually came from one of the December daily kits. I think it was Pam Garrison. And then I just added a um, red star. You'll see that there is definitely a star theme going on for this week. And um, then I'm going to just throw that Costa Rica picture right in the sleeve. I thought that it was dry enough. So I'm grabbing over my Allie Edwards. This is uh, a story kit called Surprise. And I've actually really liked this story kit. I found a lot of uses for it. I'm going to actually just make my own uh, three by four card. I can't remember if I actually saw this on Allie Edwards story kit classroom or if I maybe saw it from some more on Instagram. But I'm going to take this wow messy stamp and I'm just going to stamp it a whole bunch of times. So I actually did this. Um, this is the first time I do it. Now I skip to the second time I did it. I think the first time I did it, I just did too, I just stamped too much and I couldn't really even tell what the stamp was. So then I tried it again and I just wanted to stamp a little bit less. I'm using um, some Studio Calico ink. And one thing that I've noticed about their dye ink especially is the second generation stamping. And second generation stamping is when you stamp it once and then you stamp it again without re-inking it. And it actually stamps really well. So a Studio Calico is really great for generation stamping if that's something that you like. I do actually enjoy being able to have, you know, the full ink pad color and then the partial color that you can see here. Studio Calico inks or their dye inks are really great for a second generation stamping. So if that's something that you're interested, that is a great property that they have. So now I'm going to be looking again at, um, well, I'm going to the stars. Like I said, that's definitely going to be a theme for this spread. But I'm also looking at my labels and trying to de decide where I want to put them. So I'm, I'm definitely going to be using them in terms of adding a little bit more journaling or adding a little bit more of the story to this photograph. So it was interesting when I was working on um, these spreads opposed to to December daily. So obviously these weeks have in December have already been documented in my December daily, but of course I didn't get all of the stories told for that week. It was just basically a story a day, right? So it was 25 stories that I was telling. So um, I wanted to really consider the, you know, the photos that I used in my December daily, if I wanted to include any of those in my project life. And if I did, how much of the story did I want to include? Was I going to be doing any repeat or anything like that? So in this photo, actually, that I'm using right there of me and my daughter, um, if you remember from December daily, if you saw that video, we actually went sledding that day and fell and kind of got in an accident um, where my camera hit me in the face and all is well, but I had two pictures. I had the picture of us actually going down the hill, which is what I included in um, my December daily. And if you saw when I lifted up that picture, I actually had it in the sleeve. I think it's because I wasn't sure which picture I wanted to include in my project life. And I decided to actually include this one of us. You, if you can kind of see our faces are a little banged up. I'm kind of cut under my nose. She got a bloody nose. So I actually thought that it, that would actually be a really good contrast to include uh, that photo and that piece of the story. Although I did talk a little bit about it in December daily, I did not leave that portion out, but I thought that it would kind of 
give a different spin to that story um, that I put in December daily. So I'm trying to, you know, I'm doing a little bit of both. I'm including some stories that I included um, in December daily and maybe doing a different spin or I'm just completely completely doing different stories like I didn't talk about my husband going to Costa Rica in December daily I don't think or um, some of these photos so I knew when I was working on December daily that I would also be doing project life so I knew that I would be able to tell more stories there and I tried or I think one of my goals was really to keep December daily um, more holiday themed so it wasn't all holiday themed I mean Sledding doesn't have to be holiday themed, but most of them um, were more Christmassy or holiday. And um, a lot of the ones that were more everyday stories, I decided that I would probably use them and, and put them in my project life. So that's kind of the decisions I made when I was figuring out the photos that I wanted to use for both. So I was very thoughtful um, when doing both. And if it was something that I really loved, like that picture of my daughter playing the ukulele, I added it to both. But I didn't feel like I needed to add the journaling for that picture because I had that picture already in December daily um, with the uh, picture, or excuse me, with the story already attached to that. So hopefully... <laughs> All that makes sense. So I definitely was cognizant of both um, of both uh, projects when I was working on them. So again, as you've been watching me, I've just been kind of filling out the stories and using those labels. I really like those labels from Kelly Perky. You'll probably see those coming up a lot more. They're just a really great size. I, I believe they're probably a really great size for using the rolling date stamp as well. So I'm just looking at my spread to see if there's anything else I want to include. And of course, I want to add my 12 by 12. Now, this isn't something that I show you guys all the time, but on the 12th of every month, I take pictures all day long. And then I look through those pictures and then I end up choosing 12 that I feel best represent my day or best tell the story that I want to tell from that day. And I throw them into a collage. So it's just a really great way of telling the story of a day. I've been doing this since 2008. So I have this really great assortment of collages that tell a great story of our life. And I really like how it gives a really good overview of your year. So if you've ever been interested in doing something like that, I know that Allie Edwards does a day in the life a few times a year, but this is something that I do um, once a month and it can get intense. I actually did the 12 of 12 because I did week in the life one year and I thought that that was really intense. And so I thought, you know what, I'm just going to do uh, one day per month because I thought that over time it would kind of tell a, this big picture story like week in the life does. But then, of course, I got back on the week in the life bandwagon because, of course, I love that project as well. But I've continued to stick with um, the this um, 12 of 12 project because I really love being able, I love the story that it tells and I love the collection together. So if you're interested, you can look at my blog. There's a little bit more information on there. Um, so you can kind of check that out. Anyway, you guys, this is my spread for the week. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I hope you guys were able to get some inspiration from this layout. And if you like what you saw, please give this video a thumbs up. And of course, if you would like to see more of my Project Life Process videos, feel free to subscribe and you will get updates. All right, you guys, we will catch you in the next video. Bye.